bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Goodboy. And before the video begins, I want to share with you the awesomeness that is Dota Sumo app and the latest updates. The Dota Sumo app is awesome because you can freely download it and it will analyze your playstyle and tell you exactly where you're going wrong and right. Whether you're farming for too long or too little, whether or not your um, participation team fight is limited, it will rank you up against every single player in the world and tell you just how well you're getting things right and what you're getting wrong. Excitingly, they've added a new feature now where you can compare yourself directly to your friends and have a look at exactly what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong and compare playstyles and find better ways of synergizing as a team. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to a video on why Lich is just so awesome right now. So Lich has been that climbing carry that we've seen sort of successive buffs coming in and now the guy actually dominates across the game being in the top 10 uh, highest win rate hero for literally every single skill bracket in the game. Most notable actually in the higher skill brackets. This guy is a complete terrorist and I'm going to break it down for you why he is and some uh, tricks particularly if you're a lower skill player on how to uh, probably get the most out of him and start grinding up that wonderful MMR. So first off, let's just do a quick um, overview in terms of why he is so good and then how you can take full advantage of that. So first off, let's talk actually mainly um, about his abilities. Um, so naturally offers um, a protective armor, a type of nuke and uh, slow that actually has a very, very powerful late game potential. That's his Frostblast Q, which actually gives a minus 30% movement slow, but a minus 20 attack slow. Which if you think about that for a carry, even in sort of towards the later parts of the game, it's actually really, really notable. But throughout the entire game, particularly the mid game, if you think about what that does to a, a hero when you frost blast, it's pretty fantastic. And like I say, it has a wonderful little bit of um, uh, damage in there, setting you up quite nicely. His ice armor is nice, but pretty, it's, it's not anywhere near as good as his other abilities. Um, sacrifice, which we're going to get into slightly later on, is his lane control ability, which is part of the reason why he's so good. And then finally, his ultimate ability, Chain Frost, which allows him to deal with huge levels of damage while also moving, reducing slow, slow and attack speed. Um, and obviously, multiple bounces, 10 bounces, uh, can be insane <laughs> for the guy. And this, this is his main power, particularly in the mid game, um, with good setup, is completely and utterly insane. Completely and utterly insane. So, uh, so, that, so there we go. So let's focus first on like sort of getting the most out of him in the laning phase uh, on the bank of the ability. So for me, it's the sacrifice lane control. So in the off lane in particular, what you can do is while you're sacrificing a friendly creep, obviously you control the flow of the lane, but more critically, you can uh, give you, you and your ally experience. And this is obviously massive. It doesn't count as a deny either. Um, so there is no experience to the enemy, it's just you get the whole set of experience. Now if you think about that in the laning phase, that's pretty awesome, which is why a lot of people often level the sacrifice ability first on the guy. Then you can control your lane nicely, and so my, my um, top advice is for anyone who's you know sort of new to Lich or, or maybe not that experienced playing him, definitely picking at either first or second is going to set you up. And to be honest, it's pretty good to take it more or less straight away. And then as soon as you've either got your own or not even bothered, as you walk with your lane of creeps by simply um, sacrificing one of them and then slowing them with the rest of your heroes, it sets you up straight away for awesome lane control, putting your creeps just about under the tower when the enemy creeps uh, arrive. So it's, 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 it's sick. It's completely sick. And you can continually do this and really, really, really mess up uh, the enemy's game uh, with such insanely good lane control. So obviously this sets you up for a very, very nice game. Then you've got your anti-carry frost blast and anti-carry chain frost, which will um, set you up for plenty of kills, uh, and then also um, will set you up for an insane team fight presence. So that's kind of that's kind of you know uh, um, uh, abilities in a nutshell. But let's talk also about sort of countering in the meta. So typically, the kind of heroes that are doing best against him are pretty garbage on average as heroes. So we're talking about heroes like Nature's Prophet or Brood Mother. Uh, Chen is okay, but not amazingly great. And then the the Fallen from Grace, but better than it used to be, Anti-Mage, tends to work pretty well against Lich. But it, again, not actually um, amazingly meta. Meanwhile, there are plenty of heroes that are extremely meta that he does extremely well against. So Underlord, who has seen a massive surge in popularity. Omni Knight, Chaos Knight, uh, Dragon Knight has seen a big resurgence recently, and Lifestealer. 
Um, oh, not to mention, of course, Abaddon, who seems to have fallen from grace as of late. But nonetheless, all these heroes are very, very strong, powerful, meta-viable heroes who he all, he capitalizes against really well. So this is this is in part the line of of his success. So that's kind of that there. Um, in terms of ability builds, just to give you an idea for the best win rate of all, this is a 54% win rate build. Um, it is the sacrifice first and pretty much maxing that out, or at least maxing the first three levels of that. And then, of course, going for your, um, you know, your frost blast and chain frost when you can. And then leveling your lich armor, your ice armor last tends to work best for the guy. This is also one of the most popular ways to build him anyway. Uh, with the 20% of the time people going for that particular build. But in case you did miss it, that's what's going to set you up really, really nicely. In terms of teammates and setup, that's kind of one of the biggest things that Lich can be screwed over with quite comfortably. I did do combos in the past, but, but you know, it's very, very easy to, um, you know, kite the chain frost and then split apart from your teammates. Obviously, an Ags can really help increase the distance in that and set you up nicely. But actually, really, really good teamwork and setup using combo heroes such as Enigma, even Darkseer, Magnus, and uh, even like Faceless Void or, or anybody with a really good AoE set of disables. So like, for example, Tidehunter. Or even a little bit Warlock, but again, the disable isn't quite as long enough as I, as I would like. But typically, clumping heroes tend to combo together with them insanely well and make him a complete lunatic terrorist. So Lich can be played also, as as some pros have done, as a hard carry. Um, a very unconventional method. I generally don't recommend it. Lich should normally be played as a support um, with good lane control in the offlane. Um, it's also where he sees his biggest success. So, so typically, um, you see him either in the safe lane or off lane, but typically off lane, and that's where he has the best win rate. Definitely not advisable to play mid or as a jungler, um, but you know, obviously, any lane where lane control is critical is, is, is really important. And remember, you can dual mid him as well. But as a carry, you can get items on the guy like Shadow Blade, uh, Desolator, Butterfly. And dragon lance just to set you up quite nicely and this factors in to the um lich uh, his final ability which is why you can play him as a carry um and this season with the best winner level 25 attack supply 30 percent movements below and attack speed slow now in conjunction with all of his other abilities that makes lich completely bonkers completely bonkers because if he hits you with frost blast and then hits you with chain frost and then right clicks you you'll have no movement or attack speed <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most completely ridiculous level 25s I've seen. Now, don't get me wrong, you can give the guy, for example, level 20 on his talent tree, 150 damage. Um, so there's, you know, there's plenty of ways of, of doing him, and, and, you know, the bonus movement speed is pretty pretty beneficial as well, but that, that final level 25 on the talent tree means that you can actually viably play him as a carry, particularly if you're having an awesome pub-stomping um, game early to mid game where you're securing yourself lots of kills it's very very easy to transition the guy into a hard carry um, and then if you provide of course you reach that level 25 fast enough all of a sudden the guy becomes this ridiculous killing machine um, and like I say that's one of the cool things about the talents is it sort of makes certain heroes that you never ever in a million years play as carries or as hard carries can actually now do that and uh, with Lich you can you can see that as well and even as a support that's a really great skill so you know you can do it either way um but that kind of makes lich ridiculous and why you can even play him as a hard carry and everybody that is why lich is ridiculously good right now and uh by all means do give him a spin anyway bro thank you so much for watching stay tuned and please by all means do hit the like button goodbye